Hello and uh, welcome to a new video on the channel. In this video I'm going to show you how you can um, actually monitor uh, in a much better way the Elasticsearch application. So if you normally go to your gray log and then go to system and overview, you can see some kind of information here uh, about your Elasticsearch but it doesn't necessarily show you how the shards are located and many other things. So to monitor the um, Elasticsearch cluster or server, uh, you need to download um, one of uh, two tools. So the first tool that I'm going to show you would be Cerebro. We have it right here. So you can uh, simply follow the installation steps. Uh, you just need to have uh, Java 1.8 or newer installed on your server. Uh, and then you simply do these uh, steps. And because we have a CentOS uh, operating system, uh, we will gonna do the RPM package. So I'm just going to copy the link address and then put it in here. By the way, I'm going to install the Cerebral application and run it on the same uh, server where I have my uh, Greylog for uh, testing. Let's do an... Uh, RPM minus I Cerebro. Okay. Uh, everything should be good. Now let's get back to the previous page from here. And um, you will see that by default, Cerebro, once we will start it, it will gonna run on uh, uh, 9000 port. This port is already used by Greylock, so we will have to use another one. And over here you can uh, see how you can start it you know, on a different port. So let me do this. I will take uh, this command. Uh, actually, we will not going to take the address, so let's just take the port. and put it in here and we can use this one one two three four why not yeah okay so right now if we were going to go to our browser we should be able to see it four Okay, and it's working. Here we were going to put the IP address. For example, we can have a local host because we don't really um, have another server. We are running everything on the same server. So let's just do HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and then local host. Uh, the port for Elasticsearch is 9200 and let's try to connect over here okay and right now you can see how it looks like uh, these are uh, these are our um, indices uh, this is how the shards are uh, located and for example if you have a cluster or uh, multiple servers uh, your uh, uh, shards might be allocated to different servers and so on. It depends on your setup. Okay, so this is Cerebro. This is how you can monitor it. Uh, the second tool uh, would be Elastic HQ. So let's just go to Elastic HQ. So let's just try to look for Elastic HQ. Okay, get started on GitHub.
And here, as you can see, we have some uh, requirements like Python. And then we have uh, full instructions on uh, how to do it. Yeah. And by the way, you can see that uh, the port, the default port for Elastic HQ is uh, 5000. So you don't really need to change it. Or at least in our case. So let's see if we have uh, Python 3.6. Okay, and we have Python 3.6. Okay, so we will need to download or clone the repository. To download it, we will gonna use the git command. Oh, by the way, if you don't have git installed, you need to do yum install and then git. But uh, since I already have it, it will not going to do anything. It says that the package is already installed. So we were going to do a git and then clone. And here we will put our link. And it's cloning. Or downloading the files. Okay, it's all good. Um, let's see. So we will go to our uh, Elasticsearch uh, HQ folder. Yeah, it's good. And right now we will gonna put that. Uh, we will gonna point out uh, at uh, these requirements with pip install. Okay, pip is not installed. And I think we need to do a pip3, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Okay, so right now it's done and I think we should uh, be able to start our application. So we will have to do this. Copy. And right now run the Python application. I think it should be good to go. So we will go, we are going here and do 10 and then 5000. And as you can see, it works uh, perfectly. By default, we have the local host. So we will just hit connect. Right now we are connected. Um, these tools, Elastic HQ and uh, Cerebro, they are doing the same things. Uh, some of them, they might give you a better overview than the other one. So I would recommend uh, to uh, try it both. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, share it, and uh, talk to you guys in the next one.